Hello again, Ms. Julie here with another story from the Public Library. Harvey Slumpenberger's Christmas Present by John Burningham, published by Candlewick Press. It was Christmas Eve. Santa Claus and the reindeer were home at last. They were very tired because they had been delivering presents to all the children everywhere. They had something to eat and then Santa put the reindeer to bed. One of the reindeer said it did not feel very well. Maybe it had nibbled something on the way that it should not have. Santa thought that all it needed was a good night's sleep. Finally, Santa was able to go to bed. He put on his pajamas and was just climbing into bed when he saw something that made him gasp. At the end of his bed lay his sack. Santa could see the shape of one present still inside it. Santa pulled the present out of the sack. The present was Harvey Slumpenberger's. Santa knew all about Harvey Slumpenberger. He knew that Harvey Slumpenberger's parents were too poor to buy him presents. He knew that Harvey Slumpenberger only ever got one present, and that was the present that Santa brought him. He knew that Harvey Slumpenberger lived in a hut at the top of Roly-Poly Mountain, which was far, far away. Santa was very tired. The reindeer were asleep, and one of them was not very well. But Santa knew that he had to get the present to Harvey Slumpenberger. Santa put on his coat over his pajamas. He put on his boots and hat and picked up the sack with Harvey Slumpenberger's present in it and started to walk through the cold winter night to the hut where Harvey Slumpenberger lived at the top of Roly-Poly Mountain, which was far, far away. Santa had not gone very far when he met a man with an airplane. Excuse me, he said. My name is Santa Claus. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives in the hut at the top of Roly-Poly Mountain, which is far, far away, and it will soon be Christmas Day. Get in my plane, said the man, and I will take you as far as I can. The plane took off and flew through the night sky toward Roly-Poly Mountain. Heavy snow began to fall. I'm so sorry, Santa, said the man. I cannot fly my airplane further in the snow. The plane bumped and skidded across the ground and finally came to a halt. But if you go to the garage that lies over the hill, there is a man with the jeep. Maybe he can help you. Santa set off through the snow. He went over the hill to the garage where there was a man with a jeep. Excuse me, he said. My name is Santa Claus. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives in the hut at the top of Roly-Poly Mountain, which is far, far away, and it will soon be Christmas Day. Climb in my Jeep, said the man, and I will take you as far as I can. The Jeep bounced and spun across the fields and down the road toward Roly-Poly Mountain. But then the Jeep skidded and crashed through a fence into a tree. Santa went tumbling into the snow. I am so sorry, Santa, said the man. I can take you no further. But if you go down the hill and across the river, there is a boy with a motorbike. Maybe he can help you. Santa went down the hill and across the river and met the boy with the motorbike. Excuse me, he said. My name is Santa Claus. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of Roly-Poly Mountain, which is far, far away, and it will soon be Christmas Day. We'll go on my motorbike, said the boy. I'll take you as far as I can. The motorbike roared off along the road toward Roly-Poly Mountain. But they had not gone very far before the motorbike slid on some ice, and they both fell off. I am so sorry, Santa, said the boy. The front of my bike is all twisted, and I can take you no further. But if you go across the valley and into the woods, there's a girl who has skis. Maybe she can help you. Santa went across the valley and into the woods, where he found the girl with the skis. Excuse me, he said. My name is Santa Claus. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of Roly-Poly Mountain, which is far, far away, and it will soon be Christmas Day. Stand on the back of my skis, said the girl, and I will take you as far as I can toward the Roly-Poly Mountain. They had not gone far when the skis broke with a crack, and they both tumbled into the snow. I'm so sorry, Santa, said the girl. My skis are broken, and I can take you no further. But if you go up the slope and down onto the plain, you will be near the bottom of Roly-Poly Mountain, where there is a climber with a rope. Maybe he can help you. Santa went up the slope and down into the plain, where he found the climber with the rope. Excuse me, he said. My name is Santa Claus, and I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of Roly-Poly Mountain, which is far, far away, and it will soon be Christmas Day. Hold on to my rope, said the climber, and I will take you as far as I can up the Roly-Poly Mountain. They had not climbed very far when the rope broke, and Santa nearly fell off the Roly-Poly Mountain. I'm so sorry, Santa, said the climber. My rope is broken, and I cannot climb any higher. 
But if you keep going up that cliff and over those boulders, you will see a little hut on the top, and that is the hut where Harvey Slumpenberger lives. Santa kept going up the cliff and over the boulders and finally arrived at the hut where Harvey Slumpenberger lived. Santa climbed onto the roof and down the chimney, and he put the present in Harvey Slumpenberger's stocking. Then Santa set off on the long journey home. Santa checked that the reindeer were all right and tucked into bed. And as the sun began to rise on Christmas morning, Santa climbed into the bed and was soon fast asleep. In the hut at the top of Roly Poly Mountain, which is far, far away, a little boy, whose name was Harvey Slumpenberger, reached for the stocking at the end of his bed and took out his present. I wonder what it was. I hope you enjoyed Harvey Slumpenberger's Christmas present. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you come back for more crafts and stories from the Public Library.